What's that over there? Some kind of castle? Yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not... A little white animal. His name's Hoop. Normally, I don't pick on the weak. Here I come. You're finished. Here I come. Oh, yeah. You're finished. I'm not done. Flyers. These are all you, Shion. We did it. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Got blood? Less talking, more public. Cut them apart here. How's this? worked up, Hoodle. Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Shion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Everything's coming up, Zephyr. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Xion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. 
In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. And it's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. Wanna take a break? What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly. But mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? I came out great. Everyone's gonna be real surprised. Well, off we go. There are owls here, too. Yeah. There are more of them around than I thought. I take it we're heading through here, then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah. It's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No. She was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed. And then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but uh, Let's go. this place anyway what's with these columns and steps no idea I've never been here before either Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past I guess it's definitely seen better days you wouldn't know anything would you Xion nope 
and I'm not interested in learning either. <sighs> Actually, these are Dan in ruins. See, you can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Dan in designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. Normally I don't pick on the weak. You're mine! You're finished! I'm on You're mine! You're finished! You're on! Demon Clang! Take aim and blast it out of the sky! Imagine there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking? It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Sislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Sislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Sislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renin surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renins. They've got Danans spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. That's why the world needs people like us.
one's gonna be tough. Infernal Torrex! Here I come! Sorry, uh, Nixon! Take this! Do it! You're dragon shot! You're on! Take it! I feel kind of funny. Yeah, you're looking funny oh, too. Er, right. Let me know if you're struggling. Almost too easy. I'm sure I can put this to use. Ah, guess I misread the landing. That's not your run-of-the-mill enemy. Here, 
We won. And what have we... Bookworm, aren't you? Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. <sighs> this one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. 
The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zoogles here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. We'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. 
Lucky indeed. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Ha-choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No. It sounded a lot different from mine. But I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Ha-choo! Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Well, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh?